Greetings, wonderful people of the world. Welcome to an exciting journey into the realm of physics. Today, we're going to unravel the mysteries of Newton's law of universal gravitation. This fundamental law not only influences how we go about our day-to-day -day lives, but it also revolutionized our understanding of the cosmos. It's the hidden force that keeps us grounded and the planets in their orbits. So buckle up and get ready to delve into the fascinating world of gravity. Imagine a young Isaac Newton sitting under an apple tree. An apple falls, and a law of physics is born. Picture this. A serene afternoon in 17th century England, Newton, engrossed in his thoughts, witnesses an apple plummeting from a tree. This commonplace event sparked a revelation in Newton's mind. It led him to ponder why the apple fell straight down and not sideways or upward. Why did it seek the ground? This curiosity led to the birth of the concept of gravity, an invisible force pulling objects towards each other. Newton proposed that every object in the universe, no matter how small or large, attracts every other object. This attraction is a force that is directly proportional to the product of their masses. Moreover, it's inversely proportional to the square of the distance between their centers. A simple apple fall thus unraveled a fundamental law governing the cosmos. And just like that with an apple, Newton changed our understanding of the universe. Now let's break down this law into simpler terms. Newton's law of universal gravitation, at its core, is about three main things, mass, distance, and force. Let's start with mass. In the world of physics, mass refers to the amount of matter in an object. The more matter an object has, the greater its mass. Next, we have distance. This is simply how far apart two objects are from each other. In the context of Newton's law, it's the distance between the centers of two masses. And finally, there's force. In this context, force is the gravitational pull that one object exerts on another. Now, how do these three elements interact? Well, according to Newton's law, the force of gravity between two objects decreases as the distance between them increases. In other words, the further apart two objects are, the less they pull on each other. On the flip side, the force of gravity increases as the mass of the objects increases. So the more mass an object has, the more it pulls on other objects. Let's take the Earth and the Moon as an example. The Moon has less mass than the Earth, so it's pulled strongly towards the Earth. But because they're quite a distance apart, the pull isn't strong enough to bring the Moon crashing into the Earth. So, in essence, this law tells us that everything in the universe is pulling on everything else. It's a cosmic dance of attraction. We've come a long way in just a few minutes, haven't we? We've delved into the captivating tale of Newton under the apple tree, where a falling fruit sparked a revolutionary idea. We've dissected Newton's law of universal gravitation, a fundamental principle that governs everything from the fall of an apple to the orbit of the moon. We've broken down its terms, the gravitational constant, the masses of the objects, and the distance between them, all intricately interwoven in an elegant equation. This law, my friends, is more than just an equation. It's a key that unlocks our understanding of the cosmos, a beacon that guides us through the mysteries of the universe. It's a testament to the power of human curiosity and our relentless quest to unravel the secrets of the world around us. And that, dear friends, is the beauty of Newton's law of universal gravitation. It's a testament to human curiosity and our relentless pursuit of understanding the universe we live in. Thank you for embarking on this journey with us. And until next time, keep wondering, keep questioning, and keep exploring.